Solve for x in the domain of 0 to 2 pi. So in this series we are trying to understand how to solve trigonometric equations and take care of their domain. Well if the domain is not mentioned then you have to write a general answer because these trigonometric functions are periodic and they repeat and therefore their answers will have multiple answers actually. So you should write in general terms. But if the domain is specified, then you have to be very specific and only answer the relevant values which are within the domain. Okay. So we'll continue as we did in question number one and two, and we'll verify our domain at the end of each question. Now the question three is cos x minus sine x whole square equals to two. Best way to solve is to expand the left side and then see what we get. So if we expand the left side, we get cos square x minus 2 times cos x sine x plus sine square x equals to 2. Now you know cos square x plus sine square x is 1, right? So let's write down 1 minus 2 cos x sine x equals to 2, correct? So now we can take 1 on that side or subtract 1 from both sides and we get minus 2 cos x sine x equals to 1, right? So we deducted 1 from both the sides. Now that is minus. So we can write this as 2 of sine x cos x equals to minus 1, correct? So why did we write 2 sin x cos x? That reminds you, right? It's a double angle formula, correct? 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x. So sin 2x equals to minus 1. So the value of theta, which will give you minus 1 for sin, is 3 pi by 2, right? So that is one answer. But we are interested in the domain 0 to 2 pi. Okay, let's first sketch our sine function and see what we are really getting into, right? So we know the sine function is kind of like this, right? And it has minus 1 only at one point and that value is, so this is pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, correct? So that is the value 3 pi by 2. So let me write here 3 pi by 2. So at that point we have minus 1. So we do have one answer here. Now we need to check our domain. So domain is for x greater than for x greater than equal to 0 and less than equals to 2 pi. But here the argument is 2x not just x. Okay. So for 2x we need to multiply this by 2 so we get 0 less than equals to 2x is less than equals to 4 pi. So for 2x we should actually be looking into a domain of 4 pi not just 2 pi okay for sine theta right. Because now our angle theta let's consider this to be theta right. So our angle theta is 2x not just x therefore we look into the domain of 4 pi. So that is the next way which we should be considering. And so we get one more value here. Do you see that? That is also minus 1, which is 2 pi away, correct? So 3 pi by 2, 4 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 6 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2, correct? So we get this as 7 pi by 2. You can also get it by saying 3 pi by 2 plus 2 pi, correct? 2 times 2 is 4. Right, so we get 3 pi by 2 plus 4 pi by 2, and that is 7 pi by 2, correct? So you get two answers, correct? So that is what I'm talking about. And that is kind of most important when you're considering the domains. So we get two solutions here. That 2x could be equal to 3 pi by 2, or 2x could be equal to 7 pi by 2, right? Now, if 2x is 3 pi by 2, then x is 3 pi by 4. And here, 
x is 7 pi by 4. Got it? The other check is you should see now x value is between 0 to 2 pi. Correct? So 3 pi by 4 as well within 2 pi. Correct? And 7 pi by 4 is also within 2 pi. Correct? So these are the two answers we are looking for. Correct? So that is how we will do this question. And therefore we can write down our answer as that x is equals to 3 pi by 4 or 7 pi by 4. Correct? If you don't really consider this part which we did here, then you will miss on the second answer. Do you understand? And you lose half the marks. So it's kind of very important to understand the domain when the argument changes, the domain changes. Right? And then solve the equations. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.